All right, this recording is going to focus on the standard MBT5, multiply up to four digits by a one-digit number. You can see when the test is coming up at the end of October. Here we go. So here's the first problem that you'll see on the test, and it looks something like this. When you show all of your work, it's going to look something like that. Okay, well, I'll coach you through the steps and through the process. Here we go. Now you can do this problem straight, standard algorithm. All right, but I'm gonna show another method to teach it, which is area model, which a lot of my students like. First off, let's identify the academic vocabulary in the problem. Select the product, and we're gonna highlight the academic vocabulary in pink. We write it. We have the word product. Product also means to multiply. Again, it's this standard. All right. Now, let's separate it by place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And to do area model, we will write it in expanded form. So 5,248 will become... 5,000 plus 200. Make sure that you're copying the digits correctly. Okay, I did another recording where I put the 200 as a 300. One digit written incorrectly will cause the problem to be wrong. 40 plus 8. Again, this is in expanded form. Do the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And now we're going to draw the model. This is not to scale. The 6 comes over here. We put a multiply sign over here. Now we're going to write the thousands first plus the hundreds plus tens plus 8. Now if you don't know your multiples of 6, we will write them out. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. And here's why we write them out. If you're having trouble multiplying and you don't have your math facts memorized, you just add 6 every time. And at any time, you can pause this recording. You can go back, rewatch it as many times as possible. That's why I'm putting these on YouTube. Let's say you missed the school day. You want to review for the test. That's why these recordings are being done. Now, this is in my garage, so I apologize for the lighting and for the wood chips. I will probably get better as things progress, but it is what it is for right now. All right, let's multiply the thousands place first. And here's why I like area model. It breaks it down to two digits. You are just going to multiply 6 times 5. We know that 6 times 5 is 30. So I will write 30 here, and then I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3 zeros. Please make sure you double check and get those zeros in there. A lot of kiddos make mistakes when they miss the zero. They'll get the six times five, but then they'll maybe write one or two. There are three zeros. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna do that same process for the rest. Six times two. Six times two is 12. How many zeros do I have? One, two. One, two. You can point arrows to show your work. Next up, we're doing the tens. There are four tens, also known as 40. Six times four. Six times four is 24. How many zeros do I have? I have one zero. And then the last one, we have six times eight. Six times eight, way down here is 48. Just fits. My first recording I did, it did not fit. This is my third one. Here we go. Let's double check. Six times five, 30. I have three zeros, 30,000. Six times two is 12. I have two zeros, 1,200. Six times 40. Six times four is 24, one zero, and six times eight is 48. Now let's add them. I'm going to take 30,000, which is this number, plus 1,200 right here, plus 240 and 48. Please make sure you line up the digits correctly in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands place. Zero plus zero plus zero is 
and plus eight is eight. Zero, zero, four, four. If you have trouble adding, you can go four like this, plus one, two, three, four. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Four plus four is eight. And it's barely fitting there. It's almost getting cut off. Two plus two is, I'll write up higher so you can see it, is four. Then we have one and three. 31,000, and I'll write it over here so you can see it a little better. 31,488. Check. Nowhere close. Notice how these last, these first two digits in the ones and tens are both eights. So on test, most of the time they will make it very close. So if you miss one digit in the thousands place, if you add it incorrectly, you will get another answer. The correct answer is C. There it is. And look at the difference. So let's have the academic vocabulary pop out in pink. We did area model for this problem. We went into expanded form. And then there are just a lot of digits or numbers. And then we're going to highlight all of them. As we're doing this, we can double check our work. Remember, if you make one digit, di if you write one digit differently, it changes everything. And just to double check, you could do the standard algorithm, which a lot of kids like as well. Let's check. Six times eight is 48. Put the eight in the ones. I carry the four. Six times four is 24. 24 plus four is 28. Carry the two. Six times two. Sorry if it's got zoned out. There we go. Six times two is 12 plus the two is 14. I carry the one. Six times five is 30 plus one. 31,488. 31,488. Check, check, check. This took about seven minutes to record. So when you are solving this, I went a little slower because I'm talking out. You can freeze this and you can take the notes, practice copying, go, go over each step. Talk it out with your child. So this is for parents and students, even teachers. And anybody has feedback to make the problem easier, more clear. I'm open for all ear. I, I'm open for all feedback. You know, this was the first recording. Actually, my third. I had to delete the last two. But first recording for problem number one, unit two, standard four, MBT five. Okay. And again, we solved it, area model. Have a good one.